Hello everyone. So in this video clip, we will discuss the waveforms of ba double balanced modulator, which is also called balanced ring modulator because of a ring-like structure which is formed in the form of four diodes. The very first waveform that we have shown is nothing but low frequency modulating signal. So this is the modulating signal in which we have shown the two cycles, uh, one complete cycle of the signal. The second signal as you can easily make out is the high frequency signal compared to the first one and hence the second signal is nothing but the carrier signal. Now let us see what is the third waveform. Third waveform is the representation of how the output signal will look like when carrier signal takes positive cycle and negative cycle and so on. But please remember this is not the exact waveform of the output signal. We will see the exact waveform of the output signal in some time. But this is the representation of the output signal in the form of the working that we have discussed. Now this is going to be very simple if you have understood the working of ring modulator very well. So we'll recall few points from there. Whenever carrier takes the positive cycle, in that case diodes D1 and D2 will be on. And when diodes D1 and D2 are on, we had written that VO is exactly equal to VI. So in every positive cycle, VO and VI will be exactly same. So this is, let's say, my input signal VI. And this is not exactly the output waveform, but I'm calling it the representation of the output signal. So as you can make out that in the positive cycle, when VI increases towards uh, the positive peak side, VO also does the same thing and hence you can see VO and VI are exactly same. Whereas in the negative cycle, the first negative cycle that takes place, let's say this is the negative cycle of the carrier signal, we had seen that uh, D3 and D4 will be on and when D3 and D4 are on, VO was equal to minus VI. So when VO is equal to minus VI, you can see VO in this negative cycle. The negative cycle will exist from this point till this point, negative cycle of the carrier. And in this negative cycle, VI will further increase towards its peak value. But if you observe the representation of VO, VO has to be minus of VI. So because VI is taking positive values, VO will now take the negative values. And hence, there is a jump from positive value to the negative value. It has to be there because in the previous cycle, VO was taking positive values. Again, the next positive cycle will arrive. With the positive cycle, we will again get VO equal to VI. And you can see in the next positive cycle, which lasts between these two points, VI will keep on taking positive values. And hence, VO will also do the same thing. You can see VO and VI are same. So there'll be jump again from negative value towards the positive side. In the next negative cycle, the things will repeat. D3 and D4 will be on this time and VO is equal to minus VI. So you can see between these two points where VO is, now VO is reducing, uh, the same thing will happen on the output side, but in reverse order because VO is minus VI. So you can see there is a jump from positive to the negative value. 